Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Nicola from Twink Knits. I'm from West Yorkshire, but originally from York. I sell knitting kits, knitting patterns and hand dyed yarn. During lockdown, I decided to learn to crochet a toy. My TV fame has been on the Alan Titchmarsh show and selling my finished items on BBC Casualty. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? and find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. 
scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Nicola from Twinknits. I'm from West Yorkshire, but originally from York. I sell knitting kits, knitting patterns and hand-dyed yarn. During lockdown, I decided to learn to crochet a toy. My TV fame has been on the Alan Titchmarsh show and selling my finished items on BBC Casualty. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. We are the only shopping channel in the UK that is exclusive yarn and knitting and crocheting and macrame and everything like that. And, uh, and so far, you are absolutely loving it. It's been such a busy build up. Rebecca Reed's done an incredible job um, creating Yarn Lane and, and keeping it going like she has and everything. Anyway, uh, Nicola from Twinknits is here today. But before we, do, we go and do anything, I want to show you the website. So if you go to our website, which is www.yarnlane.com, you click on watch the show live. You'll see a really big me, there I am. Scroll down the page, right? And then uh, everything on today's show is already on pre-order. Oh, I've not got that. Have I got that wooden pin? No, I haven't. I haven't got that wooden pin. Anyway, have a look down there. This is everything that's on the show today. Beautiful, look. Everything, everything that's available today is there, all on pre-order. Now, and what I need to explain to you is, when, after it's been on pre-order, when we've shown it, so in a minute, my first item is this yarn, beautiful, twinkly yarn. As I've shown it, it won't be in pre-order anymore, it'll now then go on to show deals. So if you're watching later on, everything that we've played through will be on show deals, okay? Um, so everything's there. If you want to send a message via there, you can do. If you want to send a message via the Facebook Live, you can do, because I've got that up and running. Um, and there's the email if you want to send in an email. Right, so we're going to change it a little bit this time. We're going to introduce you to some brand spanking new yarn here. And it's beautiful because it's glittery. It's glittery. I've got it in two different colours. I've got it in the bright rainbow sparkle and the pastel rainbow sparkle. Um, Let's start with bright then. That's this one here. Now, can you see? Can you see? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's sparkly. Can you see it's sparkling? Now, in real life, it sparkles a bit more than you can see on your telly there. But if I keep it moving, look, 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 look. Can you see the sparkle? Beautiful, isn't it? It's Twink Knits Bright Rainbow. So this is four ply and it's 100 grams, right? It's 80% merino wool, 20% nylon, so brilliant for socks. Be gorgeous for socks. One hank will make one pair of socks, if you want to do that. Or one hank will make a bobble hat. A hat, a shawl. A shawl, a little shawl. Fingerless gloves. Fingerless gloves. Am I being fed all this? I am. <laughs> it's £23.99. It's beautiful, isn't it? That's the brights. Uh, perfect for any four-ply project. Old. Now, have you dyed this if it's got twinkle in it? No, it's got 2% sparkle yarn in it. It should have. It should say 78% merino. Oh, okay. So, so to, uh, 78% it's merino. It's 78% we'll... merino. Right. And 2% sparkle. So it's like a silver thread. You can see it there when you're moving uh, and it. And it doesn't you can touch see it, yeah. the dye. It what? It doesn't, the dye doesn't touch the sparkle. Oh, the sparkly bit. So yeah. it's still dyed by you, it's but still it, it dyed. arrives you it the comes, sparkle yeah, in. Yeah, and you, that, the sparkle, the dye's not touched the sparkle, yeah, which is perfect. very clever. Gorgeous. So that one there is your Bright's Rainbow. 
Brands ranking new today. What I'm going to do is now, I'm going to bring in the pastel so you can see them together. So you can see the difference. So this one here is the pastel. This one here is the bright. So I'm going to get rid of the bright one now. I like the pastel. Now normally I'm the, I like the bright specimen. I love these pastels. So can you make a jumper out of four plate? You can make a jumper, you can make a cardigan. But how many, well it depends it on the need, size and what the pattern is supposed to. You can make like a little short sleeve top, you know the ones I bought last time? Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. it would take about three. Three so of those, four, yeah. Depending on size, but. Of course, and the design nesting, but beautiful. Little cardigans are nice for summer in them. Yeah, really lovely. But a little one of your little shawls would be perfect in this, wouldn't it? 23 99 you get 100 grams in there, so it's 78% merino wool, 2% sparkle, and then 20% nylon. Lovely. And if June's watching, June, it's gorgeous and soft. Beautiful and soft. Lovely and soft. Isn't that lovely? So that's your pastel. I'm just going to show you them both again. So this one here is pastel. That one there is bright, just in case you're trying to make up your mind which one you want. So that's bright. Oh, if I turn it that way, if you can see there, that's bright. That's pastel. Pastel is in the lead. I, I, I have to say, I, I do like the pastel one. I love it because it's got more uh, of this kind of softer blues and purples and lilacs and amethysts in there. 23.99. Okay, now we've also got some new stitch markers. Stitch markers. We've got butterflies and we've got flowers and bumblebees. Right, on pre-order, these already started going, right? You don't get necessarily get those colours because there's a random section. See, on mine, I've got like turquoise, dark green, pink and bright yellow. And what's Nicola got on hers? Oh, hang on, the one on the website is pink, yellow, red, and aqua, and um, you've got, right. pop yours down on the table. Can you see, uh, can you see Nicola's? I'll bring it towards you a little bit. Keep going, there, yeah. uh, there you go. They're upside down butterflies, they're flying the other way, flying south for winter. So they're completely and utterly random, the colours that you get. We can't guarantee you'll just get four for $8.99. Yeah. I love that dark green, that's my favourite one. But I can't, you can't guarantee what you're going to get. But you do get four, that's for sure. Now, are these the ones you put over your needle or are these the ones you put in the stitches? You can do both. Oh, either. Okay. They've got um, a jump ring, so they've got the lobster clasp, what you can use yeah. for when you're crocheting to clip on. And yeah. then you've got your jump ring, what will actually go over your needles. Ne oh, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, third, the stock on the butterflies is gone. Now, I'm the next one, mm -hmm. the next one I'm going to show you. These are going to fly out. Now, again, they're random. Do you get two flowers and two bees, though? You get exactly what's oh, there. They're not get, random on them. They're not random. They're all the you get two flowers, two bees. The daisies, aren't they? I knew these would be popular. Look. They're sweet. I like these ones. They're <laughs> lovely. And also, I know when we have fabric in, in Stone Street with bees on or anything like that, absolutely fly out, they do. It was bee month, wasn't it, last month or this month? Oh, yeah, May. Because, May. because you do the, you do the uh, no mo May, don't you? Yeah, so it was all over and, Instagram yeah. about yeah. everybody tagging things with bees. Yeah. So there you go. You get two bees and two flowers. They are not random. That's what you get. <laughs> the daisies. <laughs> what did I just say? Flowers. Oh, daisy. The, da the daisy flowers out there. <laughs> daisies. The, the daisies, daisies. Little daisies. And bumblebees. And bumblebees. Are you sure the daisies now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 very popular. See, half the stock of those has gone already. Mm. 8.99. You get two daisies <laughs> and two bumblebees. Lovely. They will sell out today. Both those will sell out today. Well, June is watching. June's watching. I'll do the softness for you, June. Don't you worry. Right, now. Let's start with... This right, so this is called... Unicorn Shawl. And the yarn that you were using is called Unicorn. This one. So that's beautiful. So you get the instructions, the pattern, and you get the two uh, hanks. 
$41.99. And that makes this. Now, we've got a story to tell, haven't you, Nicola? Oh, I, I have on this one. I sent the wool off. Well, I, I was talking to somebody on Instagram, a male knitter called Beagle Knits. Beagle Knits. Beagle Knits. And Beagle Knits. He does have it on the... Oh, it's on the instru okay. It's on the oh, front yeah. of the pattern. Right. You can find him on Instagram. Okay. And he's a male knitter and he lives in Granada. And I was chattering away to him and I asked him last year, just about May time maybe, if he could design me a nice shawl pattern. Uh -huh. so, he, so he said, send me some wool. And I said, choose whichever wool you want and I'll send it to you. So I sent the wool off to Granada and he said, he always asks, how long have I got to do it? Which yeah. there's never no time limit. I like to leave. Because if the people are busy, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. stick to also, deadline. Also, you don't want to rush job. No. You want them to consider it, it and make them He's nice. doing me two, new, two more new ones, so hopefully we'll oh, have them wow. soon. And I sent it off and he sent, he sent me a picture and I couldn't believe the shawl that he designed for me, which is it's really nice. Yeah. So, uh, and he said, would you like it back? And of course I said yes. <laughs> and I've had it just in, in, and I've never sort of promoted it really, this one. And yeah. it is actually really, it's a huge shawl. Oh, it's lovely. It's, it's beautiful. Huge. It's lovely. The, the size of it's lovely. So he's designed the pattern. You've dyed the wool. I've dyed the wool. So it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration. The yeah, between the two. At uh, forty-one ninety-nine, we'll get you the pattern and the two hanks of wool. Again, it's the merino wool and the nylon. There's no glitter in this one. And let me just take it off the stand because I want you to have a look at it. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. It's lovely, First of all, look at that. Holds it up. It's oh. it's really huge as well. Yeah, it is a big one. This one, isn't mm. it? That is so beautiful, isn't it? Let me show it the right way around. There you go. That's it. <laughs> right, so that so now the the, the, the colours will alternate, so them all, they'll all be slightly different because each each hank is dyed by hand. By isn't hand, it? and it's a dipped one. This one. It's a dipped one, yeah. yeah. So if you have a look, there you go. So you, you've dipped the blue, the, the blue, pink, pink, the orange, the yellow, yellow and the grey. The grey doesn't stand out very much. No, it's it not there. It sort of blends in, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's nice because it gives... You can see it every now and then. It's lovely, But the it? yellow and the pink does really stand yeah. out. Yeah, there's a love... Now, it looks like it's a lime greeny bit on there. Is that, is that where... It's because it, it's when the dyes mix. In between, mix. Yeah, yes, in yeah. between you get, like, your orange from your pink. Uh, and then what's this called here? This stitch here? It's is a, a wave... Oh, sorry. It's a wave stitch. A weird? A wave... Wave. <laughs> wave. They said it's a weird stitch. I was like, thank you. It for is that. probably yeah. weird to people. You have to do your yarn over so many times around your needle yeah. and then you knit your next stitch. Are we going to show that today? I'm going to show it, but it won't be as wavy on my needles okay, as I've yeah, cheated. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So isn't that lovely? So you get the, the, the yarn is called Unicorn. The pattern is called Unicorn and it's by Beagle Knits in Granada. He's designed it. Not Granada Studios in Manchester. <laughs> Granada in Spain. Spain. I've been to Granada. <laughs> what, in the studios? Or yeah, Spain. Yeah, it's a very built-up nice? city. We, we were, I think we went to the wrong bit last time. Oh. But it, what we saw was right big, tall buildings yeah, 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 yeah. in Granada. But I, oh. think the, I was hoping there was going to be a beach there, but I didn't find a beach. <laughs> oh, no. I don't even know where in Spain it is. So that's that in Unicorn. But we've also got it in another colourway. It's called Candy Fizz. I candy think. Fizz, this one. Not Candy Floss, Candy Fizz. Now, this is a speckle dyed one, it this one, so it will give you a different effect. Have you, you've got the yarn out, so I'll I've have got a look the, at the yarn out, first, so. and then I'll show you the. Um, so, that one literally is you wet your yarn, then you just throw powdered yeah. dye at it. Yeah. But it's very how do you fix it? How's it, how, how's it fixed? Citric acid. And then heat. We put we soak it in citric acid, like food citric yeah, acid, yeah, yeah, yeah. just a tablespoon in a bucket, and yeah. we soak it for maybe eight, ten minutes an hour, just depending. We just put, yeah, throw put it them in. all in, a, throw it all in a bucket, yeah. and then we just fix it with heat. Oh, okay. And now, now it's nice and sunny. It's nice to have it all back on the washing line. Yeah, yeah. Right, dry it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did a, I did a film in South Africa where we had to dye hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of meters of fabric. And literally, I've got photos of like these, we put up in like industrial washing yeah. lines, just had all this fabric. It was it's amazing. It's so nice to see it. Like, yeah. Oh, so this um, we need is the same pattern, but done in this yarn. And doesn't it look different? It's beautiful, isn't it? The speckles are really... So it's cream on the background, and then you've got all those incredible yeah, speckles. Pink. And how many colours have you used in there? One, two, three... She's going to count them all now. Maybe three, four. 
<laughs> is that all? Looks like there's hundreds of colours in there. It's beautiful though, isn't it? We need to thank Michelle for making this one. Oh, I'm Michelle's not made this one want. for us. Where's Michelle in Grenada as well? <laughs> I don't know. No. You don't I'm know not, where Michelle is. I do know where Michelle is. Well, Michelle, where are you, my love? She's probably watching. Where did you have to post the wall to? I can't remember her address. Oh, you're yeah. rubbish at this, aren't you? I am today. <laughs> <laughs> you send that many parcels out I'm and sure, things. I I'm just sure. don't know. Oh, well, Michelle, I hope you're watching to see your but, beautiful... No, Michelle off sent me a lovely email. As I was halfway home in the car and I, I get to see Oh, she's a viewer, isn't she? She's a viewer, yeah. yeah. She'd yeah, be yeah, watching yeah. today, but she sent me a lovely email offering to if I ever wanted anything knitting that she would quite happily knit it. And it is it's quite a basic pattern when you look at it. It looks yeah, yeah. complicated. Yeah, it does. But it's all the little sections and it's just nice somebody else to actually try somebody else's pattern. It's beautiful. And she's isn't done it? it lovely. Isn't that delicious? This one's real oh, very close then. <laughs> this one's very, very popular, this one. Lovely. Again, it's the Beagle Knits design, the unicorn shawl, but using uh, Nicola Twink Knits' uh, yarn. It's, it looks like a cobweb, doesn't it? It it's does. It's just it's very, it reminds me of very Spanish. Well, I was about well. to say, it looks like a Spanish holiday, Shop, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I just call it my Spanish shawl. I should have just called it that. Yeah. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very popular. I will recap all these, don't you worry. I'm just showing you everything I've got to start with. Right. Then... Where would you like to move on to next, then? Uh, Willow. 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 We've had this one. Right, Willow and Sea Breeze, which I'm presuming is this one. It's that one, yeah. Yeah, Sea Breeze. Oh, hang on. Now there's two. There's two. Um, are they meant to be in there? I've got two. Um, yeah, you get two stitch markers oh, in the Willow get, shawl. You get two stitch markers in here. So this is the colour. This is Willow and Breeze. This is so this one looks like it's been dipped and sprinkled. And we rewind this one as well to make it different. Make it what? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm trying to think it weird. Well, we rewind it into a cake and then we rewind it and it makes it look even more pretty. Oh. Like this, yeah, the um, sparkly yarn, when you do it, if you did a dipped one like uh -huh. this, it'll come out different oh, because okay. you're rewinding it again from the other oh, end. Oh, of course, and it, of course. it totally looks, yeah. it looks very nice. So now, is this, is this this one? That's is this that Willow? One. That's the Willow one. This is Willow. Is this a smaller one, this one? It just takes one for this one. Just takes one. Look, now, this one doesn't... I can't see a difference on either side of this can. one. You oh, hang on, maybe I can. It's a stocking stitch bit. Yeah, there you go. That's the right that's way. That's the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. So this is this one. So you get the pattern. You only need one hank or one ball of the yarn for this one. And that will make this. I'll hold it up for you. There you go. That's pretty, isn't it? And again, you've got the stocking stitch, you've got the holy stitch, and then you've got the. Is that stocking stitch the other way round? That middle section. There's a middle section there, the isn't middle it? Middle section with that. What's that and that? That's um, garter stitch. Rows of just knit the thicker part. No, not right, that, that one. That one. And then the one above it is stocking stitch. So okay. it's knit one row and pearl one row. Yep. And then what's that? And then that? that's the yarn, yarn over. Yarn over, which you're gonna that. love. <laughs> yarn over that one. That's pretty, isn't it? So that one's twenty four ninety nine. To create that, you get one ball of the yarn or one hank of the yarn plus the instructions plus two uh, stitch Marker. markers. Stitch markers. Oh, there it is. That looks nice. Doesn't understand there. Okay. Now I've also got that one in this colour, which is called Pe Peony Blush. This one. Peony. That's funny. I was only talking about peonies earlier, wasn't I? Oh, I love so peonies. Now, Where's it? Oh, have you got this one? Have you got this? No. Is that that oh, one on the that, table? Yeah. It here, it's here, yeah. isn't it? So this one's Peony Blush. Again, you get the instructions, the two stitch markers, and then the yarn, which looks like it's all been dyed and then it's been sprinkled. It's been sprinkled just in little bits. And so tiny bits. In, yeah. in very tiny bits. A lot of it's pink and cream. Yeah. A lot of the uh, no dye on it. And then the pink colour or yeah. salmon colour and then there's just a section there what randomly yeah just a little it's funny isn't it you look at that and when you, you see think. it all together you think oh I don't know if I like that but mm. actually when it's knitted up it makes it more delicate yeah yeah there's so just, just hold your your shawl up for me so we can see what a finished one looks like there you go move that way that way that way as so everything's the other way around <laughs> so it's the same pattern stocking stitch garter stitch and yarn over stitch in peony blush. 
That's lovely, isn't it, that colour? The nice spring colours. We've gone for spring colours on the, these ones this time. Yeah, because the, the, also the sprinkles are quite vibrant when you look at them on the on the hang, can't mm, they? But they actually, are. when you knit them in, they actually look really, really delicate. Very random. And it looks lovely on the stand. Here it is on the, st on the stand. Gorgeous. I can't quite figure that one out. <laughs> No, it doesn't look like there's anything between the head and the stand, does it? <laughs> Did you take that picture? That's my picture. I'm rubbish at pictures. No, no, it's not rubbish, but I don't understand how you've got a mannequin. Is the mannequin taken on a different day? Look, you see where the head of the, the wooden ball yeah. is? And it's, then the little bit going down to the mannequin's body. It's on a stand, but I don't bother. When I, um, I use a, because I like the white background, it yeah. makes the wool stand out yeah, better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when it's a dark day, so I use an app on my phone. And oh. I, I just, I don't change the wool. Yeah. All I do is just change the background to white. To pure white. So it just goes over the picture oh, like that. See, and it does it pure right. white. But because it's got their logo at the bottom, I have to go back into my photos oh. and then just winding it to take the, they're a bit um, off, no, otherwise bit off you'd the have I'm advertising them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that one there was um, Willow in Peony Blush. Now I've got two more to show you here before we carry on. How many it's on my... It's These on. are called Amy. Oh, there they are. You put them on that side. I wonder where oh, they are. Oh, I like the wooden one. Right, I'll come to those in a minute. So Amy, first of all, we've got it in two colourways. We've got it in... Right, so the first one is Speckled Egg. Which is this one here. Which is that one there. A glamorous assistant's holding it out for you. <laughs> ignore that, ignore that. There you go, there okay. it is, there it is. So that one's called Speckled Egg. So now that one looks like a chunky in it. It's not, it's a far ply. It's exactly the same as the, um, the Willow shawl. The only difference is I've not put a garter sticks. Right, no, no, stick no. Right Light down, it. light down the table for me. So every... 10 or 11 rows without looking at my pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've just done the yarn overs. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. So yeah. I've done, say, 14 rows or it'd be better, won't it, if I got the look yeah, of the pattern instead of using them in my head. So we do 14 rows of stocking stick, um, yeah. garter stick, yeah. get the words right now. Yeah. And then we do a row of my yarn overs knit two together mm -hmm. to make the little hurley. Then yeah. we go back to the um, garter stitch again. Oh, wow. And then we do, we just repeat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every 15 rows is just repeated. So... And maybe it's just the speckling of the of the yarn that makes it... A, to it's, me, it looks a little bit It's a bit, bit like chunkier. peony blush, this one. With yeah. With random speckles on, again, just dashed about. Yeah. That's a bit like if I do it that way. Brilliant. So that's twenty four ninety nine. That's Twinkle Knit, a speckled egg, Amy Shawl. Right? Now, I haven't got this next one made up, but we have got a, a, a little, little sample, sample of the knitting, of haven't you, this one? So this one's called Icicle. This one. Icicle. It's in the Amy one as well. It's what? It's the Amy shawl, this one. Yeah, but so it's the Amy shawl. So it's the style you just saw, but in that colourway. Okay, we're we'll coming to you there. Oh, nice. That's nice, that one. See, I quite like that in a jumper. I like that kind of random blue and, blue kind of and grey and cream. I'll open this one up. It's almost like a glacier, isn't it? But what's lovely as well is even though it's blue and grey and cream, you've got speckles of orange in there as well, haven't you? It has. It's the, Just the, tiny. How they make it, you know, where, the dye, where I buy the dye from. I find with the grey, it's, you know, you, they mix other colours, powders, to make, to the, make the, the grey. grey. Oh, I see, you so you haven't put orange I've in. I've not put orange in it. You, could, have, you could say, yes, it took me hours, that, I John. I could have done. Yeah. Time. But if you make it into a liquid, the orange disappears because it melts. Yeah, of course, of course. But, but yeah. it's not... When I um, did the original Willow Shawl, I just did it in all the grey, and it stands out really nice. Yeah, it really no, it's lovely. Look nice, but That's a beautiful... Be there, look at the colours in there, aren't they beautiful? They're very... So you've done, basically, you've done half in blue, and half in grey. And speckled it. Yeah. So like that. So it's just a basically yeah. laid out straight and then just speckled. You see, you're, I can see other colours in your grey as well as the orange. I can see kind of like, you got other. like a purpley colour in there as well. And it's lovely. It's beautiful. Right and it means that no two are going to be the same, doesn't no, it? No, this yeah. that's a bit lighter. That one looks. What yes, you've got yeah, there, mine so looks like slightly lighter than yours. So yeah. that one, but it's you know it's how wet the what the wool is as well as yeah. a, as well when you're speckling it mm -hmm. because you know it dissolves into the water. Yeah. you know the wetness of the yarn. 
$24.99 will give you your icicle Amy Shaw kit. You get one hand candy instructions there. No stitch. You don't get any stitch markers no, no, on that one. No, you don't one. need them for that one. Oh, you don't need them for no, that one. No, because you're only increasing it. You know, right, the before end. we start some knitting, can I go through these on here? Because I didn't see these earlier. When I said, I haven't got these, I haven't got these, they've been put against my water bottle on this side. Shawl pins. Heart first. That's this one. Nine pounds and 49 pence. Symphony Wood Flora Shawl Pin Love. That's the, to signify the heart. Mm -hmm. The Love Shawl Pin. Unique and elegant designs to complement all garments made from specific, specially coloured wood. Keep shawls and scarves in place. What's great as a hair accessory, Hannah. Ideal for gifting. You put that in Hannah's hair, you wouldn't find it for a few years with, with all her lovely curls. <laughs> She calls it a mop, we call it lovely curls. £9.49, that one. Then I've got the little flower on the top. That's cute. It blossom. I used to have a friend called Blossom. She lives in Australia now. £9.49. That, oh, sorry. I'll just, <laughs> they're not very heavy. They're very easy to move. Gorgeous, isn't it? That one, lovely. Now, these are a bit different. These have got like a flower and a pin. I've got rose and lilac, so let's do rose first. I don't know how they work. Is there a hole for it to go through? How does that work, do you know? Yeah, but is it, yeah, you've got it clipped on, so you need to... Oh, no, I'm not going to unclip you, it. You just put the pin through the circle. Oh, OK. Instead of, you know, just using light on the other ones, they're just basically a state, but, you know, I know last time we had them sh shown how to work those oh, okay but i'll do that next like time ones. symphony rose that one's called shawl pin how much is that 649 and then last but not least i've got the lilac that's obviously not from a lilac tree because that's not what it looks like It'd be lovely though wouldn't it? if your tree grew like that wouldn't it be beautiful it's a magic tree that one this one's called Lilac, Symphony Garnet Lilac. Oh, single figures on that one now. Right, I was going to say, is there anything you want to recap just before we start knitting? Stitch markers. Oh, uh, sold out, do you say sold out in? Sold out in Daisy, about to sell out in Butterfly. Candy Fizz Unicorn Shawl. Very, very limited. Most popular of the show so far. That's Candy Fizz. The design is called Unicorn by your man in Grenada. Beagle Knits. Has he not got a name name? Was he yeah, like to be Antonio. known as Beagle Knits? Antonio. Antonio. But he's, he's done a... Oh, ha Hannah's in love with him already. <laughs> <laughs> but his patterns are absolutely lovely. How yeah. he does each little section on them. So it's a collaboration. It's an, an Beagle Knits design and it's Nicola's uh, dyed wool. So it's a collaboration between Twink Knits and Beagle Knits. You get both. Oh, look, isn't it lovely on as well? I can just... Oh, wouldn't it be lovely if we, when we can go to Spain and sit oh, on no. a beach and have, you know, meals out and things like that? It'd be so lovely. Right, OK. I, I'll, I will recap everything by the, at the end of the show, but let's do some knitting, shall we? So what are you going to show us now? I'm then? just going to show you how to do this wave stitch. It's simple. With, oh, the, first, the that one, the that unicorn, one, yeah. Because that's the only... Um, I'll show the pattern, I think, yeah, a little bit, yeah. because he's done a really good job of the pattern. He puts it all in little, you know, little sections. Is it in English or in Spanish? It's all in English. I do actually have it in Spanish. Oh, uh, have you? The Spanish version, if anybody oh, wants. Oh, if you want a Spanish version, You have to email know. me that one. <laughs> <laughs> but now I do have it in um, Spanish, but he puts, before we begin, um, the gauge. There's a gauge on this one as well, so what you need to do. What size needles do you need? Oh, wait. Uh, Wait a minute. Haven't you got them in your hand? Or is that no, because I've just... Um, oh, you just picked up a pair? I've just picked up a pair of needles. Yeah. I shouldn't have. Five millimetres. Five millimetre needles. And a, cab um, a circular needle because... Oh, circular needle. I've got them underneath on pre-order. You will get the, it on the straights. You will so far. Then you could transfer to your circular needle. Oh, OK, so don't do them on straights. You, you can start off maybe your first couple of sections. But right. when it gets wide and wide, you're not going to have enough room. OK, on your so go with, the, go with what are these called? A circular. Circular. And you need the eight centimetres, you know, cable. Yeah, put the set of circular needles in because I've not got the right size. 
There are singular ones too on the website. You know, you want to ease him gently to it. You could just start. I'd start off on straights. And then oh, I'd do just, you? I would go on to circulars. I mean, I prefer straight needles. Yeah. Than circulars, but it's right. Just, oh, these are lovely. Nice. Look. The zing. So, yeah, know. yeah. So they're the ends of the. So going from a three point five up to an eight, and then there's all the circular bits to go in the middle, and all, everything you need. Isn't that lovely? Thirty nine ninety nine that one. Nice and colourful. Beautiful and colourful. We're well, not going to mix them up, are you? You get four cables, you get eight knitting needle tips, and you get eight end caps, four cable keys, one set of cable connectors, and a partridge in a pear tree, as Hannah would say. Right, okay. <laughs> So, go on then, you should so carry on. So, we do the step-by-step, step. so it'll t it tells you on the pattern how to actually cast on here. Yep. And then, this this is the, um, I'm going to show you the waves. It's not as difficult as you think, because it's yeah. just a matter of you yarn over so many times around the needle. Yeah, but it looks like there's a long, oh, I'll, I'll let you, I, I can't <laughs> figure that one out. And it's, it's, right, so what we do is, I'm just going to knit three right. on my needles. Oh, Hang on a sec, I just need you to move. move. I know, it's because I'm going to put it under my yeah, arm. Yeah, sorry. Me, that, it, that's perfect. Where it is now is perfect. You can do it from there. That's there. perfect. So we knit, I've just knit six. So then we'll refer to the pattern. The beginning of row one and row two, you basically knit row. So you just knit them all. Okay. On the sec, We're on section two. And then row three is knit six and it's yarn over times two. Right. So you don't do a knit one in between. You just... Right. You, you yarn over twice, twice, mm -hmm. and then you will wait a minute. Oh, no, I know. I'll do it this. I prefer to do it this way. Does it matter this, which way you go? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. But I prefer to do it this. Yeah. Way. And then we'll do our knit one. So that's the first part of it done. You know, it's like a little arch, isn't it? On, on yes. there. Yes. Yep. What it looks like. Mm. And then we'll do yarn round three times. One, two, three. Right. And then we knit knit one again. Then the fourth one to get the depth in the middle of the yeah yeah to get longer yeah it gets it starts off small and then it gets longer and then it goes down again uh -huh. so they're like little arches we'll do it four times so we go one oh, two three four yeah. and then we'll knit knit one and then we'll go do again yarn over three times to go because okay, going, going down, back down it's again like going now. over a hill and down the yep. hill as if you want yep. to think of it like that so we go one two three. And then we'll knit one, and then we'll go to the two again, yarn round, knit two, kn yarn round twice, and then knit one, not knit two. Uh huh. And then we'll do our knit six. So that's how we get the, you know, if you, I'm going to put it under me arm. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, that's I'm fine. I'm useless with it. I'm trying to get this row done and show You're you right. how Oh, yeah, there you go. So then we'll just, I'll just make it up as I go along here. <laughs> And then we'll do our yarn twos again, and then our yarn three, and knit one, and yarn four, two, three, four, and knit one, and then we'll do our yarn three, because we're going over the other side, and our yarn two, and then we'll knit our six. I'm just trying to get to end it row, then I can show you the row back because yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes the stitch really long, so you've got to just be careful when you're taking it off. You're only taking one stitch off because it'll unravel. Yeah, all of course. The oh, yes, of course. Because you're making yeah. the extra. That's yeah. what was worrying me because it looked because yeah. they're quite long. They're quite long here. Pieces, aren't they? Yeah. And you can, it's, mine doesn't look like that because I've not completely done the yeah, whole. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to cast it all on. Yeah, of course. To pull it all off, but you can see the longer ones are there, and then you've got your shorter one at the yeah. end. At the end, so we'll go twice, and then we'll go three times round it. So you're just winding your wool round to make it, you know, more more wool. And then we'll go four, two, three, four, and then go three. Once you get into it, each section is quite easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll do our two. And we'll, we'll just need to end it rather than hopefully I'll get to the bits where I've done that. Sharon says, beautiful woolen kits. Bought one as a gift for my mother-in-law and she, she loved it. Oh. Wendy said, yum. Claire says, hello, such pretty colours. Yum. Mm -hmm. All right. 
to go to bed. I might be like 200 odd stitches on the needle. Yeah, exactly. Me, like, well, you'd be sitting down comfortably at home. You wouldn't have to be standing at a desk making sure it was in shot no. and everything when you're doing it for yourself. No, and I'm not... I, <laughs> I try and sort of just put so much on the stitches because it's easier because I knit with it under my arm and it's off. it feels awkward and all. So I'm trying to get just to the bits where I've done the yarn. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I'm yeah. just knitting this row, a few, bit of this row because I've just made it up at the end. Yeah. Right, we're nearly there. It takes forever. Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. We have today, haven't we? Yeah. And then, right, hopefully we're there. Right. So this is where we made the yarn of over bits. So right, okay, now let's have a look at that. Hold it's very wrapped round the needle quite right. a few times. Yeah. This bit is oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is it here. So what we do is we go into there and we just basically do our knit stitch and just drop it off. Right. So I'll do it again because there's yeah. quite a few of them. So we'll do our knit one after yeah. it and yeah. then this one should be three if I've done it right. Yeah. So we'll go into knit it. And then when you drop it off, you're just dropping it off. Oh. So yeah. that's how it's given us oh. our holy bit. So this should be four now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go to knit it. Go to knit it, pull it off. And then take it off. But you need to take the other bits off the loosey bits. Loose oh, bits I see. So you only, knit the, you only go through the first one. Yes. And then no. let all the others go. Yeah. Just Got un, it. Just unravel it. So we're knitting to it again. It's quite um, a nifty little pattern, yeah. this one. So we'll knit it and then we'll just sort of take them off. off. You've got three take to take off, off that yeah. time then we'll and then do the first knit, one. Knit next stitch again and yep. then we'll go and knit this one and then it'll, that's just oh. one. So we're on our knits, little knit bit here and then we'll go show the other bit. Because don't worry that you, you're thinking, oh, I should have knitted those. Yes, it's yes, yes, that's what you round. automatically think. Yeah. You let it, it's almost like they're falling off your needle, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they need to fall off but you don't need to knit it, only put your needle through the first part yeah. of it and so because it's amazing that when you knit it, it goes like, it goes like yeah. that, doesn't it's it? It's because you've got the four. The wave, it's, that's why it's, it's called the wave, wave stitch. Yeah. You've got four in the centre, three at either side, then you go down to your two. Yeah. So then you, you, it's like going up an hill and going up mm. down the hill. But when you've done that row before, you'll have like the loosey, loose bits, I think they are. Mm -hmm. They're not just wrapped, you know, you've just got it just wrapped around like that. Yeah. On your needle. So when you're knitting it, you knit this one and you'll just... This let that one go. Just let it go, but we'll just do it again because people. Yeah, no. It may be daunting to people. But yeah, it's, no, it's, 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 it's very easy. simple now. You're showing us, but yeah, do it again. So, so it looks really hard shawl, but mm. it, it's very, very. He's he's put it as um, a beginner shawl. Oh. Somewhere. Mendel low Lando's difficulty, watching. low. But um, so we knit the first stitch and then we just let it go off. Uh, Wendy Orlando says, good afternoon. What a picture of gorgeousness. Oh. Love all the colours. Bless her. Do you know Wendy Orlando? Do you know who she is? No. She's one of our experts on here. Oh, we say. Yeah. We well, don't know work from is your she... Michelle yet, though. Oh. Where's your Michelle? I don't know. She sent me uh, an email that said, I hope the show goes well today. Oh. And I just responded just out there before I came, came in here. So we knit this one. She might be watching, but just not on Facebook Live. I only get the Facebook Live messages here. Hannah oh. gets all the other messages. She's just looking now. So we just, um, I've got some. Me and my long needles are yeah. talking away. <laughs> Clacking away on the, the table. Uh, if it's on back, then that'll be all right for a minute. Right. So, uh, when, so we go into, this is a two, two yarn overs, I didn't say. We go into the first part of it. Yeah. And then we just let it go. And then we'll do it again. There is a message from Michelle. There is a message from yeah, Michelle. I thought there might have been. <laughs> yeah, she's not watching on Facebook there. How she, how she said, there you go. Hi, Nicola and John. I'm enjoying the show, watching from sunny Brem Pembrokeshire. She's in Pembrokeshire. Love Michelle. I love Aww. this. Uh, She'll remember next time. I will do. I won't forget. <laughs> it's beautifully knitted, may I say, Michelle. Beautifully knitted. So we just um, knit this one. And it's easy just to let it go off. You can find the pattern just on the website as well if you, anybody just wants patterns or different wools or anything. Mm -hmm. So that's, and then it goes, which all looks, looks. Oh, that's why you need circular needles, isn't it? Look. 
It looks a tatty mess, but then look, when it you, does look a mess, yeah. But it's all scrunched up, but then when you block it, it it'll stretch out and it'll make you wave better as well. Okay. You know we had um, we had those. Um, I think they're all sold out, but you know we had it as a, a yarn lane loved. You know those things that you make kiddies. Um, Floors, play mats. That's, that's what I it. use. Yeah, that's and what I bigger. use. And then we had these brilliant pins. pins. I had four in yes, and two and in. Yes, nice straight edge. Yeah. They're ideal for jumpers. I know, I really need, should be buying some of those myself. Oh, well, we sold out, I think. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> but Talk no, to Rebecca Reed, she'll help. But no, those pins are with the four, and I've looked at those, because I yeah. think when you're doing a sleeve and you get, sometimes my bits go a bit too weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I just use the basic pins. Yeah, no, these were like four in a row but, and two in a row. And, and they were white on top. Uh, rainbow was it, ours. Oh, was it rainbow ours on top? Were rainbow. Oh, yeah. I see you've got some fancy tape measures yeah. on the yeah. site as well. Oh, have we? Little balls of yarn tape measures. Uh, oh, I've not seen those. Have you not seen no. them? No. But they Ooh. look very nice. Very good. So, but no, once it's blocked, it will give you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so just tell me then, uh, if I was to make this, do I start, start at the at, hem or do I start, start at, at the, the neck? start at the top, at the neck. What, here? At the top, yeah. It's right, okay, so you'd start here. Yeah, and then you do your little, your section one, which is just stocking stitch, which is knit one row, and yeah. knit one row. Yeah. You'll have an a, a make one, at, you know, an increase. It's not an increase where I do it as a knit in front and back. It's mm -hmm. pick up the stitch between the two stitches okay there's a little bar um it might actually i might actually i could probably show you while i was thinking about it see everybody you can do increases very diff differently right so it's not one i usually do on the end so there's a little bar so that's there's your stitches on your needles yeah and you see this little bar here hang on let me look can you see this one where under my thumb yeah 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 With that you'll pick that up right and put it onto that needle and just knit it. So that's your make one. It's classed as make one. It's called what? Make one. Make a stitch. Make or yeah. mate? Make one stitch. Make one. Make one. So you're making an, it's an increase. Yeah. So instead of knitting in the front and back increase, there's different ways of increasing. Yeah. Rebecca Reed says they're on order. Those oh. things. She oh, just messaged in saying they're on order. So we just, what, so we do this at the beginning and then the end. So this stitch here. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do it that way, but yeah. you just make it flows better. Lovely. So right. Okay. So we started off in that centre bit there, and we make that first and then we, section. Yeah. And then we go on to our wave section. Then wave, wave. And then there's a stocking, ex um, stocking stitch section again after the waves. Yeah. Which is your knit row, pearl row. So that's your third section. Yeah. And then we have. But it's weird that it's in an in an arc, isn't it? It's, it's just the trying... way you cast on at the beginning. Yeah. It's it's a half pie shawl. Oh what? A half pie shawl is classed as. You're not doing it as a triangle, you know, where yeah. you're casting on somebody. <laughs> oh, it's She's shouting at me now. It's confu it'll confuse you even more. It's um don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I just, I love it. I'm, what I know, I'm saying is, I love the fact that you do, get. This is how you do. It's a semicircle. It's the way you cast on. Let me just yeah. get to the beginning part on it. We're using. You cast on with three stitches and then you you slip one and you do your wind down forward and you knit two. But then you go down the side of it to pick up another three oh, stitches. Oh, I see. So you're repeating it just once row one. Yeah. And it like it's like without turning your work, it rotates it 90 degrees, which yep. gives you a half pie. Brilliant. It's a bit of, com it's not complicated. You just need to pick up the other three no, stitches no, no. at the other end side of it. Are the instructions just written or is there a chart? It's all written. Oh, perfect. Row by perfect. row. Row by row. Row by row. Each, se each section is by each section. You and it looks like it's, I'm not going to open any mine. I was going to say, looks, no, take it out. No, but it looks like it's really, really it's, well it, it presented. It does it better than mine. <laughs> and there's tons of pictures as oh. well. And each section, it gives you... Before we begin, but it describes the unicorn shawl is a semicircular half pie. Yeah. That's what I was looking for where it was. Yeah. And it's worked from the top to the bottom. And it's in, you know, sections. And then it gives you your yarn, your materials. It, don't worry about, you can, you can do it a bit shorter than that. You don't have to go right down to the bottom. Oh, no, it? I think that's what makes it, it that flamenco it, it, bit it at the bottom. It comes off the bottom, but you can shorten it. There's yeah. a shorter version on, on the bottom. Oh, pattern. I see, so you still have that at the bottom, you but you wouldn't that. have as many sections you, here. Yeah, yeah. It, you just re remove yeah. a couple of the Up waves, here. A yeah. wave section out yeah. and the stocking stitch section Brilliant. Out. Uh, let me do. Let me just do a quick round up because the things are selling out, and I'm and I'm not keeping up with it all. So, 
So that the, the these have gone, the stitch, the stitch counters have gone, the stitch markers have gone both. The and the unicorn, which is this one and this one, are the two that you've got to put. No. I can't hear you, Hannah. You're not near enough. <laughs> yeah, unicorn in candy fizz is this one. Oh no! You see, I should have taken there's more people got that in their basket than we've got stock of. So if you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. That's the technique we've just been doing. It's collaboration between Twink Knits and Beagle Knits and Todio in Granada. And um, that's that one there. So that's, then uh, that, then that's this one. Then there's uni Unicorn in Unicorn, which is here. Right, so you get that beautiful yarn there. Plus your instructions. And that's it. That's what you're going to make. The unicorn design today is the most popular design. And that one is in unicorn. It's in unicorn, shawl, in unicorn. Confusing, not. <laughs> That's beautiful. And that will make this one here on the mannequin behind me. Beautiful. Okay, right. Somebody's asked a question. About which one, Hannah, did you say? The Amy one. The Amy one. The Amy one. We don't, don't expect you to knit it, but there's something about... Have, you, have I got an Amy? I've, no, you've got I've the got Amy. I've got the Amy one, which is this one. So someone's just saying, could you just run through uh, what, the what, what it was again to make it up? Yeah, I can. It's a 15 row pattern, but it's not 15 rows as such because it's just basically got to stitch. Right. We, we cast on with so many stitches. And do you start at the point or the big at bit? The point, at right, this bit the point. Right, the point on this one. On this one. And then we um, do our, we knit so many rows of the um, garters. I should go, this, I should do it this way, shouldn't yeah, I? Please. We do um, 14 rows of um, just basically garter stitch. Uh -huh. And then we do the eyelet row, which right. is the yarn over knit two together row. Right. Then we go back to just knitting the garter stitch rows again. Right. And we just repeat it all the okay. way up. So it's and you're just adding more stitches and all we the time. Tie, we it's just getting... add one at either side on every single row. Okay. And then how do you finish at the end? Like when I you... cast off using a larger size needle at the end. Well, I don't know what that means. As I use, start off on um, 4.5 millimetre, I knit it on, yeah. but then I'll use a 6 millimetre to cast it off to make it stretchy because if you don't, it, go, it bunches it up and it's tight. And is, is that still on circular or is that I, on straight? I, you can use it on circles, but I've, I've knit this on straight. Oh, okay. I actually get it There's on There's an many, awful lot to get on. Because I block it, it makes it. Uh, oh, because it's not that big when no. you knit it, is it? Of course, no, it's, of course. It, but I get 200 and. 20 something stitches on my straight, long but straights. That's why I like the Do you have this? Ones. Do you have lot this length or do you have longer than that? No, they'll be fat. What's, what's you, have you got some longer ones? I've got, no, they're my longest. <laughs> Here that? today. These 30, are. 35. Well, it doesn't say how long they are. It usually says on front, doesn't it? Does it say on front? Uh, yeah. No, it just says zing, four millimetre. How many centimetres? 30 centimetres. No, no, you need longer than that. Okay. About a 35 ish if you want to do it on straights because not yeah. everybody likes the circular. Because it's hard on your wrist, I find my wrist hurts with the circle. Which you can't tuck it under your arms. I took it under my I took it under my arms with long needles. So so thirty you you do you normally knit on thirty five mill yeah. centimetre length knit, knitting needles? It's not the same size as that, okay. do you think? We are sanitized, don't worry. Yes. Slightly longer length. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I I knit on just thirty five. I always buy thirty five straight. Brilliant. And if people want to follow you on social media, where are you? You can find me on Instagram, on Twink Knits, yeah. Facebook, Twink, Twink Knits, Knits, and on the website, twinknits.co.uk, they can buy the patterns on their own or okay. change wools or whatever if, whatever they want. Or if they want to message me, they can message me there. And Because I'll, if you've seen something you love here and you want something dyed up specially. Uh, and I'll custom dye it, no extra charge, we dye different colours for people. Yeah. Oh, come, come when you dye me something like this and we try and match it. It's not always per no, spot no, no, on, no. but it's very, very close. Perfect. And it's free of charge. We, we don't charge anything for it. No, you, you pay for the actual thing, but it's not any extra. A tablet. lot of, you know, if you go on Etsy, people will say, for custom dyeing, we'll charge so and so. We yeah. don't ever charge anything extra mm. for dyeing Perfect. anything. So if somebody wanted a different colour, we're, we're Perfect. Uh, what were you saying, Hannah? Sorry. Oh, yeah, the two, two, two twinkly ones. Sorry, I'm about oh, to do yes. those. Yeah, two twinkly ones. Hopefully we can get the sparkle on this. 
Right, so which one are we going for? Sprites first, that's it. Now, this has got so much twinkle and, and sparkle in it, it's lovely. You it can't is, see it totally on the camera. I think they'll be surprised when they get, if yes. anybody buys this one, because it's, it is really, really sparkly. It's a brand new yarn. I've yeah. only had this a couple of weeks. It's took me ages to get hold of sparkly yarn. This is four ply. This is four ply. It does for socks as well. Yeah, and well, it's 78% it's merino, 2% yeah. sparkle, 20% nylon. 100 grams on there. Lovely. Look at those colours in there. That's the bright one. And then we've also got it in, well, it's called pastel, but this is my favourite, this one. Pastel is in I the lead. I think we need a shawl in this one, don't we, for later on in the year. Yes, definitely. It's fine. Definitely. Or some socks would be quite nice. Socks could be all right. I Lovely. Like disco socks. socks. Well, I can go back to the socks, disco. Socks are on the on my list. I'm getting some new patterns. He's doing, there's one in Grenada is doing me two new sock patterns. Oh, is he? Yes. Can he do me a, like a bobble hat? Oh, do you want a bobble hat? Yeah. I've got a bobble hat pattern. Oh, okay. I'm bringing it October, I think. Oh, okay. That's fine. As long as we've got it. Yeah. I've got bobble hats, fingerless gloves, some new shawls, some old shawls. Well, different colours, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got... Old shawls. No, I meant old, you know, the willow shawl, but yeah. in wintry colours. But I've got a bobble hat pattern. I've just finished it, actually. Oh. With a fur pom-pom. I don't know if you've met Little Paul, one of our directors. Oh. He wears a pom-pom, a yeah. pom-pom hat, a bobble hat all the time. And then I've got time. another hat pattern, a four-ply I've done. I need to take that one up. Okay. But that's, I have a pom-pom or a fox fur. I quite like one with ear flaps that come down. Oh, as well, those please. ones, what yeah. we used to have when we were children. I was thinking more designer alpaca, you know, kind oh, of I like East alpaca. London sort of thing. Not I like those. alpaca all. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we've got to go, got to go. <laughs> Anything I need to I need to, ra I need to round up with? When's the, now, when's the next Yarn Lane? Monday. Oh, with me, with me, it's with me. And it's... T Tunisian crochet with Catherine Wright. That's good. Uh, there isn't one on Wednesday next week, so you better watch on the Monday. We don't know. Oh, Rebecca Reed's watching. Why haven't we got one on Wednesday, Rebecca Reed? Anyway, thanks ever so much You're for coming welcome. all the thanks way. We'll see you me. soon. How's the cat, by the way? Oh, the, Willow's lovely. Willow doesn't sleep, though. She's still very active throughout the day. Oh, all no. day, she just loves to be in the garden. Oh. But she sleeps in the... She's started to sleep on the soil now, under the bush, in the garden. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, my, my Norman used to do that all the time, then come in and go on my white linen. But we have to sort of keep an eye on her, because she's starting to climb the fence now. We should oh. get halfway up, and with her being a pedigree yeah. and a Persian yeah. she's um yeah that mine it's really funny when I let Norman and Nelly out Norman didn't leave the garden for no. years Nelly was off the like old, that, old yeah. one doesn't and um, yeah. but the eight-year-old she watches her go up over the fence because she likes to she's just a normal cat yeah. normal. she likes to go over and but the Persian she thinks she can follow her in. Oh. but she doesn't sleep until you actually put her to bed at night time when you and go then she wakes up and she'll go to sleep then and then she wakes up early doors yeah Oh, well, it's lovely to see you. Um, I'll see you next time you're in. Yes. Uh, and I'll see you, not tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll see you on Yarn Lane. I'll see you on Monday on Yarn Lane or Monday on Sewing Street. Thanks, you company. Take care.